You guys remember those new raised beds I put in? Well, it's time to fill them up. All right, I just want to show you guys what this is up close right quick. So on top, this is one bucket load of veggie compost. The first bucket load to go in here is this fine bark mulch. So the great thing is, is it does mix together when you throw your shovel in here and you grab a scoop of it, you're mixing it all together as you take it out of the back of your pickup. Now, why the fine bark mulch? There's a lot of nutrients in bark. Bark is uh, slightly acidic. It's great for your vegetables. So uh, I don't add just 100% compost to my raised beds. I like to do the nice fine bark mulch uh, and the compost mixed together. And that's going to continue to feed the soil. Okay, we have the pepper line up here and one tomato. This is this came from a cutting. A friend of mine had uh, was complaining they didn't have any tomatoes that produced any flavor because they bought their tomatoes from a big box store every year. So I took a cutting off of one of mine and I put it into the soil and it's grown. So here's the pepper lineup. Uh, if you saw the episode three or four weeks ago when I put these in the greenhouse for hardening off, these are now fully hardened off plants. And I can actually leave them outside the greenhouse tonight because last night it only got the low, overnight low was only down into about the 60s. And it's gonna be about the same tonight. Now, three or four nights from now, we're supposed to get down into the 30s again. And I know that's crazy, but this is the desert. So let's go down the pepper line up here. And some of these have put on peppers. Uh, this is a banana pepper. And these will obviously come off this plant. I'm, I'm not gonna leave these on this little plant. And here is a red sweet pepper. These are peppers that I originally got from the grocery store and decided to grow. It's got a couple little peppers and looks like one decent sized pepper back here. And those will come off shortly. This looks like one of my uh, Tabasco plants. Uh, those peppers should be coming off as well. This is one of my Cayennes. It's producing uh, Peppers like crazy. Got some nice big ones on there. Nice long one back here. Again, uh, this looks like a banana. I got several bananas planted. And this is, uh, I think, an Anaheim. Let's see if the tag stayed on this one. Yeah, this is uh, Anaheim. So. <laughs> Lots of big peppers on this one too. I I try to keep them from fruiting, but uh, they just produce so many flowers. I mean, look at this uh, crazy banana pepper. It's just falling over with peppers. And here's a bell. Obviously, not doing. Uh, the plant is doing okay. Obviously these, these peppers are tiny and they will come off before I plant it. This is uh, similar to the red pepper. It's an orange sweet pepper. Very similar to Bell's. And they just are, they grow like small peppers. So you have a much better chance of getting several ripe peppers uh, before your season ends because they're a smaller type of uh, bell, bell flavor pepper. Here is that habanero plant. You saw I posted the photos of that ripe habanero. I ate it already. I will post a video of that shortly. Another Anaheim chili. And uh, for such a, a little plant that doesn't look so well, it sure has a lot of chilies. Uh, another one of my bell peppers producing like crazy for such a little plant and cayenne there's uh, crazy flowers crazy peppers 
and the last little habanero. So that's the pepper lineup. Okay, here's the raised bed I'm gonna be topping off. And that is because this is all new, the concrete down here. This was the deep part of the raised bed, which I filled two thirds of the way with my native soil. And it's gonna get about eight inches of bark, mulch, and compost on top of that. So I'm hoping that'll give me a good growing season for the peppers. And that's what we got. Okay, I don't know how well this is gonna show up because uh, it's after eight o'clock and the sun is really going down. So uh, here's what we got. I have plenty of room over here that I will possibly be planting cantaloupe, watermelon, uh, sugar baby watermelon. And over here, going up the trellis, I will do cucumber trellising up here. And I will probably pull out this lettuce and do cucumber up the other side. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, I want to encourage you to grow organic, eat organic, so you can be organic.